An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years. But gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meagre forces that we have cobbled together will collapse again. To support the Scottish army, you will need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood and 50 gold. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town centre. Kid? The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Kia. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Fiediga. Forgera. Fiediga. Erlov. Fiediga. Kid, Fiediga, Bonage, Forgera, Fiediga, Bonage, Great. You now have fifty foot. To win, also gather fifty wood and fifty gold. To gather wood. Click a villager, Erlof. then right click a tree. If you haven't found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. Sharp. Good. Be you found some gold. Kia. Kid. Good job. You now have enough wood. Kia. Bonage. Beat fear. Earl of Bonage. Bonage. Excellent. You now have enough gold. You're well on your way to making a city. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown his military tactics in Wales, England and France to be very effective, if not cruel and ruthless. He is indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. With that, I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray that we can be ready when Longshanks comes.